For many shops out there, it's about the return business, keeping a customer for decades. But that customer is always buying brand new vehicles with new technology on it. The one technology that's confronting a lot of shops is ADOS. Of course. If I'm a technician or a shop owner, what should I pay attention to when I pull this into the alignment bay? Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is just an external visual inspection of the vehicle. On this particular vehicle here, you can see it's got a backup camera here, and that was government mandated in 2018. Uh, this is also has ultrasonic sensors here. Now, if you go up to the front of the vehicle, you're going to find ultrasonic sensors here. You'll also find a forward-looking camera in the grill and a windshield-mounted camera for lane departure. Also, when they pull it into the bay, is there anything on the dash that would indicate that this is an ADOS equipped vehicle? Yes, uh, we, you can look for indicators on the dash, uh, switches on the steering wheel, switches on the, the um, console, uh, switches on the dash, and those kind of things for these particular features. On this particular one, you can just scroll through the menu and you can see what ADAS features it has. Also, once it's on the alignment rack, you've got the system set up. Is there anything else they need to be paying attention to on the alignment console? Sure. After the technician pulls the specifications on a given particular vehicle, if any kind of resets are required by the OE, those are going to pop up at that particular time. They're going to tell him if, if he's able to do it right then and there, or if he needs to, you know, get an OE scan tool or whatever the case may be to do those resets. But uh, as far as radars, uh, windshield mounted cameras, and even a small amount of vehicles even have LIDAR on them. So those particular cal uh, calibrations are going to be identified so the technician knows if a, uh, alignment or of the sensors are, is required after a wheel alignment. For the customer, once you perform these procedures on their new vehicle to them, mm -hmm. what can be presented to the customer to say, hey, this is what we did on your car, this is what we calibrated, right. here's some new technology? Okay. Well, the ones that we can currently reset, that's going to be put on the printout. So it'll tell me uh, sometimes before information and after or that it was completed successfully, so it's documented that way. Uh, if they use a different scan tool, that can also usually be sent to a printer too. Okay, so it is documented, and we highly recommend on any kind of vehicle that is we uh, equipped with ADAS that you do document the calibrations. So a shop really shouldn't be scared of servicing these vehicles? No, no. A as time goes on, they're getting, they seem to be getting a little easier and easier. It's first starting out, of course, there's going to be a bit of a learning curve with it, but it does get, with practice, repetition, it does get easier. Thanks, Dave. You bet.